for all joints commonly injected with arthromid, I like to use a 21 gauge one inch needle. The reason for doing so is that that length of needle allows me to access all those joints and also the 21 gauge doesn't allow arthromid to be injected through it if you're not within a synovial cavity, such as if you're in a, in a periarticular fat pad and also the synovium as well. So if you still would prefer to use a, a 20 gauge needle or something a bit bigger, then I would recommend you do a saline uh, test to ensure that you're within the synovial cavity. So the next joint we'll discuss is the pastin, uh, or the proximal interphalangeal joint, which is located in this region just here. And there's two approaches in that, and that's either the, the dorsal approach, or the palmar or plantar approach if you're injecting a, a hind pastin. And you can feel that you can find this joint by locating the prominences of the long pastin bone here, or proximal phalanx, and you can just inject right through into that space, which I can feel under my finger there. And for me, that's the most uh, easily accessible uh, site to get into that joint. Again, if you're going to go through the back here, you've got a, a few more um, anatomical structures there, you know, your vein artery nerve sitting under there that you've just got to watch out when you inject into. And as with the coffin joint, I do like to clip them where possible and also wrap them post-injection. <laughs>